This community believes that the Paris Agreement is the most dangerous and far-reaching threat to democracy and liberty ever seen. The community has set these objectives. This brief video will quickly disprove some of the fundamental climate change fallacies upon which the Paris Agreement rests. We can start with the core Paris Agreement belief that it is the increasing concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution that is causing global warming. This statement is from the IPCC 2013 report. Then we come right up to date with the 2021 report. That states, given the nearly linear relationship between the cumulative carbon dioxide emissions and increases in global surface temperature, carbon dioxide emissions are relevant for understanding how past and future carbon dioxide emissions affect global surface temperature. The nearly linear relationship. Finally, global warming is likely to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052 if it continues to increase at the current rate. If it continues to increase at the current rate. We will now demonstrate that the very latest data show clearly that the net zero emissions strategy is a huge gamble that rests on premises that are consistently being disproven. This graph from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography shows atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations from January 2015 to June 2021 for each month. The trend is a consistent increase and as at June 2021 the value stood at approximately 418 parts per million. This NOAA graph shows global average temperature anomalies from January 2015 to July 2021. The trend is a decrease in global average temperature at a rate of 0 0.09 degrees Celsius. So for the past six and a half years, while carbon dioxide levels have continued to rise, global average temperature has been decreasing. For the most recent six and a half years, therefore, there has not been a nearly linear relationship between cumulative carbon dioxide emissions and increases in global surface temperature. And where does that leave the statement that global warming is likely to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052 if it continues to increase at the current rate? So the causal connection between carbon dioxide, atmospheric concentration and global average temperature must be questioned. There will be those that say the most recent six and a half years is not representative and that it is too short a period. To that objection we offer the period of around six and a half thousand years immediately preceding the 20th century. As this most recent study of 2020 shows from approximately 4,700 BCE to around 1850 CE, global mean surface temperature fell. GMST cooled at an average rate of minus 0 0.08 degrees Celsius per 1,000 years. Was there a near linear relationship with carbon dioxide concentration during the period? No. Carbon dioxide atmospheric levels actually increased throughout that 6,500 years. Therefore, for around 6,500 years immediately preceding the 20th century, there was no linear relationship between carbon dioxide concentration and GMST. And 
If 6,500 years is not long enough for objectors, then a study of the last 425 million years is offered. The principal findings of this study are that the atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide is not correlated with global temperature over the past 425 million years. One more fallacy to demolish. This statement is predicated on the logical if, if it continues to increase at the current rate. Well, it has not continued to increase at that current rate. It is in fact decreasing. So this prediction is not valid. We will wrap up with an appeal to the proponents of the Paris Agreement and COP26. The facts that the Paris Agreement was based on have been comprehensively changed. You must change your minds and change direction. Given the evidence laid out in this video, to continue with a net zero emission strategy, with all that implies, is simply a reckless gamble. You are urged to pause and reassess the evidence and not to pursue plans such as this by the UK Prime Minister that could pour £250 billion of pension funds into high-risk so-called green energy. If you would like to join our community, you can discover us by searching the locals.com website or go directly through opposingtheparisagreement.locals.com.